If someone's first question about the paramotor is how much does it weigh, I immediately know that this person is not an experienced pilot. The geometry is way more important than kilograms in a horsepower. Welcome to my classroom, Insights into Paramotor Geometry. This is the first video of a complete series. We will cover every aspect of paramotor construction and design, and by the end of this, you will be able to make your own judgment and decision what is the best paramotor for you. You know Top Gear, this TV show, when they are testing sports cars, they, are, they don't bother with horsepower and acceleration in seconds and everything. What is important is the feel when you fly. Uh, and it's the same with the paramotors. It's not about weight, it's not about horsepower primarily. It's about the geometry, how it feels in the air, how it's gonna turn, how it ground handles, how easy it is to get seated or seated out, how it's gonna handle turbulence, how, how much fun you're gonna have with tight turns or light acrobatics. Most of you probably don't know that the paramotor geometry actually can influence your speed of flight with the same glider and same engine, same pilot, one paramotor can actually fly faster than another. Uh, with paramotors, we are pretty lucky because we can sort of predict or estimate how it's gonna feel in the air just by looking at the paramotor on the ground. The geometry defines all these. We have about 30 videos on the list. Uh, we will cover every aspect of paramotor construction. So by the end, you will be able to decide what is the best paramotor for you because there is no such thing as the ultimate best paramotor for everyone. Everyone has different needs and, and different priorities. And before we actually start the classroom, the first decision you need to make is to define what is or will be your flying style. I would define these four categories, this cross-country flying, which is probably the most pilots, freestyle and slalom acrobatics and thermaling with a paramotor. And in every video, I would like to stress uh, advantages and disadvantages of a specific design based on these four categories of pilots. I'll try not to be biased, uh, and the Scout will not always be the ideal paramotor for, for all, all groups of pilots. Please check the description below. You'll find the whole list of videos that will be covered in this classroom. We'll start with the most important, in my opinion, and that's the suspension. You don't want to miss that, so please subscribe to the YouTube channel and see you soon. Thank you.